When Jesus spoke of the end time, he said, At that time, many will fall away. According to Jesus, many who believe in him will turn away from the faith in the last days. This is not something Jesus wants to happen, but he said it will occur because he knows what the future holds. What then will cause the falling away? The verse before and the verse after reveal two causes. In verse 9 Jesus said, Then they will deliver you to tribulation and will kill you and you will be hated by all nations because of my name. It's then Jesus said, at that time many will fall away. In other words, persecution will cause some believers to fall away. Jesus also spoke of falling away in relation to persecution in Matthew 13 in the parable of the sower. He said of those who receive the word of God, but develop no firm roots in the faith. When affliction or persecution arises because of the word, immediately he falls away. Jesus shows here that believers who lack depth in their faith fall away when persecution comes. For the second cause, let's go back to Matthew 24. When Jesus said, at that time many will fall away, he went on to say in the next verse, many false prophets will arise and will mislead many. And in verse 24 he said, false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders. By these means they will attempt to deceive those who belong to Jesus. In other words, deception will cause other believers to fall away. Also, the Apostle Paul predicted that false teaching would come and deceive believers into falling away from the faith. He wrote, Now the Spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. Thus we see Satan uses two tactics to try to make believers in Christ's church fall away. They are deception from within and persecution from without. Let's look at a few exhortations from the scriptures which if we act on them will help us not fall away in the end time. Jesus said, take heed, watch. We must stay awake and be alert spiritually speaking. He also said, take heed that no man deceive you. We need to be careful who we listen to. Don't let anyone draw you away from the message of Jesus. The Bible says, We ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. Being watchful and paying attention to the teaching of Christ and the Apostles will help us keep the faith in the end time. After telling us to watch in Mark 13, Jesus said, and pray. The Apostle Paul follows up by writing that we should be praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Prayer is the life breath of a believer. Therefore keep praying for help, wisdom and strength, both for yourself and all the saints. Prayer will help you stand when others fall away in the end time. Another exhortation is found in 1 John 4. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. We need to discern what is of God and what is not of God when people claim to speak for God. By growing in maturity in knowledge of our Saviour and His Word, we will be able to do this. We are exhorted to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. This will help us to discern in spiritual matters and not follow false prophets who cause people to fall away. 
As we draw closer to the return of Christ, we need to learn to endure hardship. This is because all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. When Jesus talked about persecution in the end time, he said, He who endures to the end shall be saved. By the help of the Holy Spirit, we can be strong and endure hardship in any kind of trials in the last days. When persecution comes, then we won't fall away. The key words we need to act on to not fall away in the end time are watch, pray, discern, endure.